Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your Practical Astrologer, and today we are talking about love and money predictions for your sign. Now in this video, we are using Chinese astrology, but if you are also interested in Western astrology, I have a new video course out. It's called Finding the Hidden Money in Your Chart. There's a link in the description. For Rooster, when it comes to love relationships, you really want to find something that feels safe and secure especially because there's so much volatility in the world going on during the dragon year. Everybody's running in different directions and there's lots of hype and excitement and all of that, but there's not really the sense of organization that you like. Um, it feels like people are heading off in different directions without thinking. And so this affects you in love relationships because you want to make sure that your relationship is stable. Now you are secret friends with the dragon, so you actually have more luck this year than would be expected normally. So that is something that you can count on as you're moving forward. So the volatility, the energy out in the world that you would suspect would create some volatility at home doesn't create as much as you think. There is more stability at home than you would expect. That said, it still does feel like the whole earth is shifting under your feet because so much change is happening. And so you may, with your partner, try to stabilize things by buying some property or combining finances or doing other things that are extremely practical together so that you feel the bond strengthening between the two of you. Now, there's still a lot of change energy around you. And so when it comes to your relationship, it may be your partner that suggests that the relationship move forward. You may be looking for security and stability in the staying the same when they are saying, you know, let's start living together or let's get engaged or let's get married. And so they may be forcing, not forcing, but at least focusing on moving you forward and if you're feeling reticent about that, you're going to have to communicate it, that. We also see changes in your relationship coming due to children. So you may be adding a child to your relationship, to your household, or a child may be leaving the house, uh, going off to college or getting married themselves. Now, it looks like the two of you are quite focused on the children and that's, that's wonderful unless that is draining your resources. So the two of you need to be on the same page about what resources you are giving adult children. Otherwise, you may give too much and put yourselves into a financial bind. It is also possible that an older child is coming back to live with you so they can save some money, but it's good to establish some rules before that happens so that everybody is on the same page. You can't have a child come back to live with you and then treat them like a child if then, you know, they're staying out all night and stuff like that. So it, it's, if you have some rules about this, it will help. If you're looking for love, you want to do activities that are fun, that are out of the house. You know, it, it's mostly just don't stay home. If you can go out and do fun activities, you are bound to meet someone. And this is um, activities that may not cost a lot of money that, and don't take a lot of planning, like going to the dog park or going to the community center and playing cards or shooting some pool or going out to play tennis. Just doing fun activities can help you meet someone. Because you're looking for stability, when you meet someone, you may want it to stabilize right away. So, and that means that if you find the other person is playing games with you, you know, showing up and then disappearing, they're probably not the right person and so just move on. Uh, by the same token, you want to avoid somebody who's already in a love relationship who hasn't quite gotten out of their old relationship yet because they're not ready for stability either. When it comes to your money, you want to look outside the box. You want to look for the things that are innovative and new ideas. You want to go beyond what just the media is talking about, but look at the long-term implications of something, especially how it affects people. You're going to have added insight. Again, you're secret friends with the dragon. So you're going to have added insight into what a technology could do in a certain industry, whether it depresses that industry or causes that industry to bloom. 
So you may not necessarily need to invest directly in the technologies, but maybe in the sector itself. It's also possible that technology is giving you some new ways of making decisions about investing. So look at different platforms and different uh, AI connections for figuring out if a stock's going to move a certain way or if an investment is good for you at your risk tolerance level and your resource level. When it comes to your job, you may be tapped on the shoulder for additional additional responsibilities, which could lead to a promotion, but only if you ask. You also may be pulled back towards a job you did before. Maybe a supervisor wants to work with you again, or a former colleague says, come back to work where you used to work. So, and while you could make more money in your job, your best method of making more money this year is going to be through the perks, lower costs with insurance, better deals with buying company stock, opportunities for a 401k match or other, um, you know, free tickets, uh, discounts, things like that. Those are the things that are really going to add to what it is that you're making. Now, one of the big challenges is you're going to see opportunities for investments and things like that and may not have the resources readily available to, to actually get involved in those things. So look for someone that you trust, maybe a family member or close friend to pool resources with so that you can get involved in the business opportunities that you see, but you cut your risk. It, because you're looking for more security and stability this year, it, it's possible you're gonna lean towards tangible property, um, but uh, be careful about buying on margin. And that is if it's not tangible, don't leverage yourself because the downside could be too much and it could fall too quickly. If it is a tangible piece of property, then do your research, especially if it's a leveraged investment. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more details about what 2024 has to offer you, I do readings. Also check out my Western astrology course, Finding the Hidden Money in Your Chart. There's a link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.